Welcome everyone to the all virtual LumaCon 2021. Today we are privileged to be joined by the great Thomas Yates, um, illustrator and author. Uh, Mr. Yates, thanks for joining us. <laughs> Welcome uh, for the invitation. Yeah, we're, we're always, you've been there since the beginning, as you know, you have one of the more famous uh, LumaCon, um, LumaCon stories of uh, having to carry a table through a crowded small area to find you a space uh, so that your fans could see you. I, I'm sure you, you remember that, but we've come a long way and now here we are virtually. So what have you been working on uh, this last 10, 11 months during the pandemic that you're kind of excited about? Uh, well, I uh, have mainly just still drawing Prince Valiant and uh, somehow managing to uh, maintain my enthusiasm for drawing it. Um, I, uh, I can show you a couple of pages of some recent adventures here. Uh, Prince Valiant uh, has traveled up to Scotland. So I'm going to Scotland and uh, drawing the, the heather and, and the, the castles and the rolling green hills and the various uh, adventures up there. Um, so that was fun. I don't know, is that the same page I just showed you? Nope, that's a different, whoa, that's a big splash. So uh, yeah, they, um, that was, that's a lot of fun. He, Prince Valiant had spent quite a bit of my uh, tenure on the strip away from Britain. He was in Asia, he went to North Africa, uh, Middle East. Uh, he was in uh, Misty Isles where his wife is the queen of the Misty Isle, Mediterranean. But anyway, finally he got back to Britain. So it's, it's fun doing stories there. Uh, and I actually, thanks to maybe in part to the pandemic have gotten ahead on the deadline for the first time in my entire career, I am ahead. This is well, my you're, you're a you're very detailed art. Yeah, yeah, my detailed art doesn't doesn't lend to getting stuff done quickly. Um, I'm not known for being one of those speedy guys, but I mean, I started this career in the late '70s, and I I swear this is the furthest ahead I've ever been. I don't I don't want to give so that, pandemic too much credit. So is that yeah. So is that kind of what you've been able to work on during the pandemic? Has it has it has it really changed your your methods or anything like that, or it's just giving you more time? Um, well, there's there's less distraction. You know, I'm not tempted to go out to that concert or um, you know other events, family gatherings. Uh, I have a buddy who has a sailboat who's always inviting me to go sailing on San Francisco Bay, and I don't take him up on it because he's not doing that very much. He's not comfortable having to put a whole crew together, you know. Yeah. I went out with him once and it was just the two of us. Um, but, you know, it, you're, it, it, you are able to kind of pool your resources and really put your focus into your work without those other distractions of life in general, if life has. But um, yeah. I'm fortunate that I have a calling, you know, I want to draw pictures. So I, illustrators like me have been, you know, socially distancing for our entire careers. You know, we just sit in our little <laughs> studio and draw pictures, you know, so it, it, it didn't have the negative impact on my job and career that, and everything you know, consequential to that, that it did on a lot of people. So I'm very fortunate, turns out, you know, the pandemic didn't have as big an impact yeah. on me that way. But I, somehow I, I wound up being ahead of my work. So part of that also is because uh, I had other uh, projects that were taking time away from Prince Valiant previously that I, one of which is the big one is done, which was a uh, side project grew. Oh, wait, hold on. My... 
So even despite being an artist, you know, who's used to just being in your studio alone, uh, comic illustration is still a collaborative art, right? There's all kinds of people working on one story. So how has the, you know, how have you, how has that been working during the pandemic with collaboration? Well, um, I do have an assistant that I had worked with uh, off and on. And he and I continue to see each other, but we mask up when we do. So I have had that collaboration has stayed there, although I don't, I haven't been using him very much lately. Um, on the big collaboration front, uh, and also I got to say, when she mentioned it, we're not going to conventions. Yeah. You know, the, the most important one, of course, being Lumicon. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, that's a that's a big switch because the interaction with the public and my peers isn't there. Right. You know, I'm not, you know, Brent sitting next to Brent Anderson or somebody yakking about comics and stuff uh, like you would at conventions. You get that interaction with your peers. I'm, you know, walking down the aisles and seeing what art who are what artists are doing, whether I know them or not, and just seeing what's out there. It's, it's I get a big charge and you know from seeing what's there and what's popular and what other people are doing you know and uh so i don't have that but the big collaboration for me is a project i finished up last year uh, about a year ago i been maybe february i finished up grew the wanderer versus tarzan and this is a, a mashup with uh sergio aragona's character grew meeting tarzan and we had done Gru uh, versus Conan before that. And so this was kind of the follow-up. And I think that both ideas may have come from Mike Richardson, the publisher of Dark Horse. Uh, so that was a lot of fun, but it was also extra work on top of Prince Valiant. And so <clears throat> I did get that wrapped up last year at, is a four issue mini series that'll be collected into uh, you know a, a graphic novel but um then the pandemic hit we were hoping to release it at the san diego convention last summer but of course that convention didn't happen it as far as i know it hasn't been published uh i'm not sure when you know a lot of projects are on hold publishing has really suffered uh, the pandemic really hit publishing hard, unfortunately. But I got that project done. It was a heck of a lot of fun. I love working with Sergio and talking to him on the phone. We, I didn't. I actually would go down and visit him and have lunch with him once in a while. If I ever went, to, if I went to in the last few years, whenever I drive down to Southern California for a convention or something, I'd stop and we'd have you know breakfast or something in the little town he lived in. So I haven't seen him, but I, you know, I'm on in touch over the phone and that, that was great, but I got that wrapped up. And that's another reason I think I was able to put a little bit more time into Prince Valiant and get ahead is because I didn't have the other job pulling on me though. I have a couple of other side projects though. Um, so watch for that book to come out folks. Grew the yeah. one meets Tarzan. Something and else I, to look for. Something yeah. else to look forward to when this is all over. <laughs> Yes, and there's another project that I'm not doing new artwork for, but it's a super deluxe uh, collector's edition for like, you know, $200 a book or something uh, of Tarzan of the Apes. And it's the original Burroughs manuscripts. I mean, it, it comes with all this facsimile stuff. It's got a zillion artists in there and the ones that are alive are all signing the book. Oh, and so that's that's really cool um, yeah. uh, to be involved in that. Um, all these great artwork. It's an artist. It's sort of like an artist edition. It's it's a facsimile of the original. So it's a, it's the size of of the original hardcover uh, Tarzan of the Apes from nineteen thirteen or whenever the hardcover came out. Uh, chock full of illustration. So I'm supplying them with some of my art for that and that's kind of fun i'm that's i'm doing that's a little side project i'm doing right now but all i'm doing is supplying them with previous illustrations and i like that right yeah. <laughs> it's already in the bank <laughs> yeah yeah i right, get some more uh you know get some more use out of those drawings i did right 
Well, we really appreciate you joining us, uh, you know, for this, for this Lumicon, virtual Lumicon. Um, and of course, those two projects are, are two things that we can look forward to when, when uh, they hit the shelves, as well as uh, hopefully seeing you in person next year around this time to kick off the convention circuit. Yeah. Uh, so Mr. Yates, thank you so much for joining us and we'll see you on Sundays uh, every, every week. Yeah, okay. Well, very good. And uh, I look forward to attending the next LumaCon in person when they happen again. You're, you're always on the invite list. Talk to you okay. later. Thanks, Nathan. Bye.